Good morning, good morning, happy Monday, first grade. We're going to start off today with group champions. Champions, keep turning your map up to page 302. On page 302, we're going to take a look at number one. Now, number one, simply ask us to draw tally marks to show the combinations. Here's the first set of combinations that we have. We have five plus eight. So let's start off with number five. So first, you have to draw five tally marks. So one, two, three, four. Notice this is four and five straight across. Next, let's go for eight. One, two, three, four, five. Notice that's five, but I need three more to make eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Now, that's the first part of the problem. Secondly, we have to add to find the sum. So what is five plus eight? What is five plus eight? That will give you 13. The answer is 13. Let's work on one more example. Here we have 7 plus 6. Let's get started on the first row 7. To our 7 tally marks. So notice this is 5, 6, 7. Now I need 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what is 7 plus 6? What is the answer to 7 plus 6? Great job, that answer is 13 as well. The answer is 13, so that's how you solve number one. Let's go over to number two. Number two simply wants you to add, like we've been practicing before many, many times. Let's move on to number three. Here, we're dealing with greater or least or less than, however, they included a different set of numbers. First, we're dealing with, we're writing greater or less than one inch. Is one inch greater than or less than one foot? So you have to know the measurements of each item that you are given. Excuse me. So think of one inch. You know how long one inch is? But one foot. So there are 12 inches in one foot. There are 12 inches in one foot. So it's one inch greater than or less than 12 inches. Because 12 inches equals one foot. One inch is less than 12 inches. Also known as one foot. So here we have the next one, one pint and one quart. So we know how much one pint is, but how many pints does it take to be equal one quart? Two. So is one pint less than or greater than two pints? Also known as one quart. I'm right up here again. And then, I'm sorry, we're ready for this one. Twelve inches. So I wrote the convergence, so you know what they mean. Go back to the top, one foot equals 12 inches, one pint, and one quart equals two pints. So one pint is less than one quart. Let's work on another one. Here we have one yard and one foot. So let's break down what each one means before we compare greater than or less than. One yard. Now, let's break this down one yard into inches or or we're gonna break this down into inches. First part inches. So one yard. That is three feet, also known as 36 inches. We want to do the inches way. So it's 36 inches and then 12. That's 36 inches equals one yard. And 12 inches equals one foot. It's 36. Is that greater than or less than 12? 36 inches is greater than 12. So put that greater sign right there. So in order to solve this type of problem for number three, you have to know what each measurement is equal to first. And here's the last one we're we'll working on. Here we have half a dozen and one dozen. So let's break this down. How much is half a dozen? Well, first, we start off a dozen. A dozen is worth 12. And a half a dozen is 6. So the reason I put 6 here, because 6 is half a dozen, and 1 dozen is 12. So what you're going to decide is 6, is that greater than or less than 12? So it's half a dozen, which means 6. Is that greater than 1 dozen or less than 1 dozen? And then you go into the next two problems after that. Now, let's flip the page over to 303. Let's look at number one. Number one wants you to write the sums. 
Let's move on to number two. Number two asks us how many cents. So let's add. Here we have one quarter, which is worth 25 cents. Every dime, which is worth 10 cents. We have a nickel, which is worth 5 cents. And then we have three pennies. And we all know that a penny is worth one cent. So let's start adding together. Start off with your quarter. 25 plus 10 is what? What is 25 plus 10? That is 35. 35 plus the 5. So we did this. 25 plus 10 is 35. Now, 35 plus 5 is what? What's 35 plus 5? That's 40. Now, 40 plus 3. What is 40 plus 3? 43. So here, you will have 43 cents to that particular problem. All right, as we move on to number three, ask us to write two addition facts. So that's the first problem. It's very simple. All you do is go and write the dots down, and those dots will guide you into writing your addition facts. So how many dots do we have here? Okay, I had to add some more dots. So how many dots do we have here for the first problem? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. So it's very simple. You write nine, and you have four dots here. So what is nine plus four? What is nine plus four? That is 13, 13. And let's go to our next one. Let me set it up for us. Okay. Four, we we'll write four right there, plus, very simple, nine. And what is 4 plus 9? That is 13. So that's how you solve that particular problem. Let's move on to number 4. Number 4 wants us to draw 16 tally marks. All right, let's begin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Notice, this is 5. Remember? 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 makes a slash. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and I have 15 so far so what you have to do is the first step you have to basically write how many more tally marks do you need to make 16 I gave us 15 but how many more do you have to draw I mean write completely to make 16 that's how you solve that problem let's go to number five number five wants you to color one half of the marbles first you have to count how many marbles that you have you have 12 so what is half of 12? Whatever the answer to half of 12 is, you will color that amount of marbles.